Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on mean, median, mode, midrange, the measures of center. I wish to thank Vicki Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint to create this video. This is the fourth video in the series on measures of center and we will work another example in this video. Let's look at example number two. Remember one of my important sayings, keep it simple. Read the problem and answer what is asked, one step at a time. Example number two, find the mode for each of the following data sets. So let's look just at part A. The sample, we have two eights, four nines, a ten, two thirteens, and a fifteen. A mode occurs most often and more than once. There are four nines in our data set. The mode is nine. Let's look at sample B. We have two fives, three sixes, two nines, and three elevens. A mode occurs most often and more than once. There are three sixes and three elevens. Therefore, we have two modes. Both the 6 and the 11 are modes. This sample we could say is bimodal, meaning it has two modes. Look at our last sample. It consists of 7, 8, 9, 11, 13, 14, and 15. The mode is none. Why? Because a mode must occur more than once. None of our data occurs more than once. We have another example. Example 3. Find the median for each of the following data sets. Sample A. 22 7, 11, 7, 22, 16, 14, 20, 9. Remember your definition of the median. To find the median, put the data in ascending order, find the middle number. Is our data in order? No. So the first step is to put our data in order. Ta-da! Now our data is in order starting with 7 and ending with 22. Starting with the smallest number and going to the largest number, we now have our data ordered. Next is to find the middle number. I just like to mark the numbers off from either end and meet in the middle as the old country song says. Notice there is an odd number of data, so there is one number left in the middle and our median is 14. Notice that for an odd number of data value, the median is one of the data values. And we have approximately 50% to the right and 50% to the left. Let's look at sample B. Part B gives us the sample data of 23 5, 2, 4, 7, 20, 
16, and 19. To find the median, put the data in ascending order and then find the middle number. Now we've put the numbers in ascending order from smallest to largest. Now we have the data of 2, 4, 5, 7, 16, 19, 20, and then 23. Next we can mark off from both ends looking for the middle number. As we do so, notice there is not a single number in the middle. Therefore we take the two in the middle where they meet, <coughs> excuse me, and we have 7 and 16 and the median will be halfway between the 7 and the 16. So the median is 7 plus 16 divided by 2. Remember your order of operations to add before you divide and be careful how you put that in the calculator. If you put it in one step, you will need parentheses around the 7 plus 16. Either way, you should get 11.5 as your median. Notice for an even number of data values that the median is halfway between two of the data values. And in this case, we have exactly 50% of the data to the right and 50% of the data to the left. Notice in part A that there was only approximately 50% of the data to the left and to the right. There is four data items below and four data items above but the 14 counts as one of the data items and 14 can't be below or above 14 and we can't split it down the middle so it's only approximately in sample A and 11.5 would fall in between leaving exactly the same number above and the same number below. And that completes example 3. In general, when describing the median, we say approximately 50% of the data is above and 50% of the data is below. To cover all cases, why would we say approximately instead of exactly? Well, let's look quickly at these three samples and the three cases that could happen. The median of the first sample is between 15 and 19. Add those together and we get 17. That gives us a case where exactly half of the data is below 17 and exactly half of the data is above 17. There's an odd number of data. Now look to the next data. Oh, excuse me, that's because there's an even number of data here. I got off track, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. In this example, in the second example, there is an odd number of data. And that tells us that the 10 will be part of, will be the median itself. And although there are two data items below and two data items above, the 10 itself is also one of the data items. We'd have to take a chainsaw and cut it in half for it to be, to have exactly 50%. And we can't cut a 10 in half. One data item is 10. We can't it doesn't change it. So it's only approximately 
that's above and below. Look at the third example here. Its median is 9. Well, 9 is one of the numbers, and there's a 9 below and above. So that gets really confusing here. And if you want more detail, I'm not going to go into it on this video. But if you'd like to, to talk about it in a lot of the detail, we can. But let's just say at this point, to cover all cases, it's just more accurate to say approximately, because that will cover the exactly as well as the approximate cases. Now I had intended to uh, continue with another, uh, no, no, the next one is an exercise for you to try on your own. And so you can pause the video here to work this example and Since I am out of time, I am going to end here and we'll do the next example on the next video.